Hi, welcome to Think Human. I'm Chris and in this video I want to talk about the psychology of haunted houses. So us as human beings, we are quite suggestible. Some people more than others. If I could, I would ask you to think a little bit back in time. Imagine yourself as a child and all of the times that you walked around a dark house or a dark neighborhood and the times where you thought that you saw something but it actually was just a shadow, maybe another human being, maybe some kind of animal walking around, but you thought it was a monster. I know it has happened to me when I was younger. There is a really sensible idea about this, like why exactly this happens. If you think back in time, and if you were a hunter-gatherer, and you were walking around in the woods, and if you hear something behind a bush, then it's better that you think that it's a tiger and you run away, than for you to think, oh, it's probably nothing, and keep going. Because if it actually was a tiger, then the one that ran away will survive, and the one that thinks oh it's probably nothing that one gets eaten so the people that stay alive are the people who are most likely to think oh that might be a tiger oh that might be something else and also oh that might be a ghost this is a really simple survival mechanism that really doesn't do that much harm it does more good because even if you're wrong about the tiger being somewhere it doesn't really cost you that much but for you to think that maybe it's not a tiger costs you much more so it's quite a recent thing for us as humans of having this kind of critical thinking of like okay this thing might not be actual danger and, and us to actually go through this when it was before way more common for us to attribute all of these things that happen to be some kind of paranormal things or to be an actual monster somewhere so going to haunted houses imagine if you go to some small town and it's kind of a cozy place but then there's one house that you go to that's a motel or something and it seems kind of out of place the people there possibly are also superstitious they tell you that the room that you're going to stay in tonight is haunted. Now if you're a suggestible person that will prime pretty much everything in your head to later in the night every small noise you hear, every shadow you see, for you to interpret that as a possibility of some kind of haunting or some kind of ghost. We are very largely responsible for the reality that we experience and if we believe in a certain narrative we make it come true. So in other words if you're more likely to believe in ghosts then you're more likely to see ghosts. And it's quite simple human psychology even I have experienced this you know being younger and going into some abandoned houses and some other kids tell me that oh that room there was haunted like someone killed themselves there or whatever and then we go there and it feels like actually creepy and weird and even though you know that probably nothing is there just to sort of wipe the sort of herd mentality of everyone believing and saying this makes it kind of creepy so it's our belief that does this really also going back to the childhood of being a child and our imagination sort of running more loose it was always us imagining danger not anything else actually different about the world i've noticed the more i've learned and grown up I see much less of these kind of things in the shadows or noises I hear because I learned over the years that if I hear a sound it's probably not a serial killer if some kind of shadow it's probably not a monster somewhere but some people don't actually grow out of this but even if you're like absolutely don't believe in that stuff at all it's still possible that you might you know you would still get a weird feeling it's absolutely normal and they're also possible of course to bring up some really special cases of something really creepy happening some things really are exceptions but I would say to you in a world with over 7 billion people I would be surprised if some very strange coincidences would not happen and also for people who personally report something happening I was somewhere and when I came back the door was open or lights have been shut off or window has opened or whatever happened these are simple eyewitness testimonies we can absolutely not trust that that is the worst source of information ever because people are biased first of all of course people can make this stuff up just to be more interesting sell books whatever they want to do but also because human beings are suggestible we easily forget you know maybe the person opened the window before went away you know maybe they were drinking beer or whatever came back and it was like wow how is this window open that causes these kind of things or problems with memory or whatever it might be sometimes when people are extreme moods if people are really sad really depressed really anxious really angry haven't slept at all stressed something like that that changes a lot of our perception of reality as well 
so we might actually see things that aren't there. I remember not sleeping for two days straight and after that I was seeing kind of shadows in my peripheral region. It was really freaky and weird. I kind of enjoyed it. It was kind of like a trip. It was really interesting but it's creepy and it also tells you how much we are subject to what happens in our own physiology and also about what people around us tell us and what we choose to believe about the world. So maybe it didn't give you an exact answer of the psychology of haunted houses but these are just some of the thoughts and I hope you got at least something interesting from this. If you have any ideas please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and take care.